Hi, Keith here. In this video, I'm going to look at Minitab session commands. Uh, why? Well, let's have a look and see. Normally, when we want to do something, we use the point and click on the menus, or perhaps use the command keys. Uh, and before I should, before I go on, I'm using the same sort of invented data I usually do. Um, here, this particular file has three sites, each of which has 15 samples at it. And I've got the usual environmental variables and biological variables. Okay, suppose I want to look at correlations among the environmental variables. That would normally be stat, basic statistics, and then down to correlation, and select three environmental, sorry, select the four environmental variables. And OK. And there's the result there, except I don't seem to have selected all of the environmental variables. No matter. Uh, what we've got is good enough to go along with. Now, across the top here, and my toolbars have been modified a little bit, but uh, you'll see the same options. This one is, of course, the results pane. This one is the data sheet. This is the graphs, which I haven't drawn any graphs yet. Um, this shows me information about the variables. And the last one here is the report, which can be handy in some cases. And this one is the history, and it shows the commands that I have issued. And so you can see there I've got correlation depth to nutrients. And so when I click on the menus, Minitab is actually running that command. Okay, back to the data sheet. If I want to use the commands, you've got to have them enabled. Sorry. And then you need, woo, here we are, the command line editor. And it will show something like this, and that's the command I put in last. But suppose I want to do the correlation. Here we go. Sorry, double R, one L, correlation. Now, when I'm using the um, command line editor here and using session commands, I find it easier to use the C5, C6 syntax for the variables rather than typing in the variable names and making a mistake. So C5, C6, full stop, and submit. And so that calculates correlation between depth and sediment. And so far I'm not, getting, not seeing any advantage of doing this over just going off the menus. Uh, Control L in my setup brings up the command line editor. If I do this, I'll get that set of results I saw earlier, except this time I've done all the four variables that I was looking to do and messed up selecting in the menu. Still not seeing any advantage of using command line editor. OK, here we go. Now, every command has subcommands. Um, now, before I go any further, here we are. Um, in the help, there is a complete listing of the commands and their subcommands. So, if I go under basic stats and down to correlation here, there's the command, and these are subcommands. And in the session help, there is everything, or actually I should say nearly everything. Back to Minitab. If I need to enter subcommands, I have to end the command line with a semicolon, go to a new line, and this is where things get a little interesting. I'm going correlation C5 to C8 by C2. C2 is the variable containing the sites, and this is what I get. I get the 
correlation coefficients broken down by site. Results for site 1, site 2 and site 3. Often this is an incredibly handy thing to do. And here is the bit that is mind-blowing. There's no way to do that through the menus. The menus I can select these variables and get a correlation. I can store it, but nowhere through the menu can I get the correlation that's broken down by site or location or time or any other factor. The only way to do it is through session commands. Now it gets a bit weirder than that because if I go to the menu tab session information for correlation it doesn't have by as a subcommand. So what? Um, I happen to know that works because I've used it in previous versions of Minitab and it still works, it just happens to be not documented. Now you can see there's a whole lot of things you can do here using session commands. Um, for instance, command line editor again and having a few problems here. What I'm going to do this time is show D-E-S-C-R-I-B-E -E, describe C52C8. Okay, that just does a basic describe. It runs the standard Minitab descriptive statistics for whatever variables you put in. Back to the command line editor. I wonder if by works here. Indeed it does. Now it breaks down the standard statistics by site. Now suppose I'm not interested in all of that rubbish. I just want a quick look at means. Okay, Sammy Colon, mean. How nifty is that? Now, I admit I don't use session commands very much because most of what I want I can get from point and click on the menus, but there are times when the session commands are more convenient and there are times when you can get via the session commands things you cannot get by a point and click. Now I don't have a complete list of those um, because not something, as I said, I do very often. Um, now we can also do graphs. Plot C5 by C6. And there's a graph of depth by sediment. I should probably have it the other way around. C6 by C5. Um, that's something that you can get more easily from the menu and if you go through scatterplot you can set all the various options which it might be rather tedious to do through session commands. Okay, so session commands are limited from some points of view but they also have their uses. Here's a nifty one. Matrix plot bracket C6, C7, C8, bracket, by, bracket, C5. Three graphs stacked together showing sediment, nutrients and hydrocarbons versus depth. You can probably get that through the graph options. I think I could do it um, by setting up to draw multiple graphs on the same panel but if you're doing things in a hurry this is pretty darn quick way to go about doing it okay that comes to 10 minutes it's a little bit on session commands and that might encourage you to try something a little bit different remember everything you do 
is stored here in the history. So if you have done a graph or an analysis and want to try modifying it a bit, you can get the history here. And in fact, I can select some lines and send them straight to the command line editor. That's a right click there, command line editor. There we go. A quick way to redo a complicated analysis um, if you need to. Bang. All right. Cheers all and see you next time.